Eagles Field in Manila was a place to be last Saturday afternoon as the Circle K Island Stunners stunned the 76 Steel Blazers to win the inaugural Guam Women's Tackle Football League title 50-47 in front of an exciting crowd. The Stunners came out full throttle in the second half using their running game to control the clock and the Steel Blazers. The Stunners' Lorena Guerrero explains how they pulled it off. Just work our offense. Like he always said, defense is doing their job, so we got to make it work. Either way, if they're not blocking, whatever, we got to make it work. She also said communication was key to securing the title. Losing to the Steel Blazers the first time around, Guerrero said the girls this time were prepared. We just worked extra hard at practice. We can't, you know, let them beat us again. The Blazers were led by quarterback and offensive MVP of the league, TJ Rodriguez. And throughout the game, there was an incredible seven lead changes. The Stunners were led by defensive MVP, Vanity Palomo. We went hard. We were struggling a little bit, but it was just little mistakes. But we came through. Second half, we, we uh, corrected all our mistakes and we went hard. She said she's thrilled that there was a crowd and that the fan base for the league has grown and that more women are showing an interest in coming out to play. At first, it was, it was when we first started the league, it was kind of shallow. Not many people were coming and then it got bigger. It grew. It grew into something uh, awesome. I, I love the fans. It's pretty much family, friends. Uh, they hype me up. The ladies will take some time off and hit the field in a few weeks to play eight-man, I mean woman, football next. A big round of applause for all four teams in the league. As for what Paloma wants people to know. Women can play football too. It's not just a man's sport. A big congratulations to the Stunners and Stillblazers for one spectacular game.